<coughs> yes uh, so good morning to all now we will be starting with our session uh, just to tell you that uh, is my voice audible and uh, is the picture clarity it is clear right yes or no just respond with a yes or no <coughs> okay so let's just wait because uh, we have like four sections today so let's just wait for uh, one or two minutes and uh, then we will start okay thanks a lot Thank <laughs> you. Yes, everyone, please uh, mention your uh, roll number followed by your or your section followed by your roll number, right? For your attendance. Yeah. <clears throat> Currently, uh, 26 people are watching, but uh, we have like four sections. I don't know why they are so late today. Okay, so let's uh, start. I won't take uh, much of your time. Let's start with the theory session today, right? Today's session we have uh, section J, K, L and section H. So uh, in this uh, very uh, block of J, K, L I think uh, this uh, malloc has been done in your class but uh, we haven't covered uh, calloc or free or realloc right. So I'll just brief off all those three things and I will proceed with uh, string today right. Asa, just uh, Type in your uh, this uh, chat that whether string has been done or not. I just need to get myself clear because I don't want to repeat the very same thing again and again, right? <clears throat> string has been done. Okay, so only malloc has been done, I think, uh, string and uh, the rest of the uh, dynamic memory allocation function has not yet been done. So let's proceed with this, right? <clears throat> so malloc is mainly used for dynamic allocation of memory. I will just uh, wrap the whole of this with the string itself so that you get an idea of how to create the strings using dynamic memory allocation and you get the idea of it, right? 
So uh, let's proceed with this. Now for malloc, say suppose I want to create a string. Now what is a string? First of all, one needs to know what is a string. A string is an array of characters, right? A string is an array of character. And this array of character, what it does is, every instance of the location or every index contains a character. And at the very last, it is followed by a backslash zero. What does backslash zero indicates? It indicates end of string marker. So I want to create something like this. Just look over here. I want to create something like, Say suppose this. Right? So if I want to create something like this, okay, forget about this for now. If I want to create something like this, just a simple array of character where every location will hold a simple character, a character array. For that, if I want to do it with the malloc function, first what I need to do is we need to understand that it's a array of it's a character uh, array so as it's a character array so every location has a particular address and every location is of the size one byte so if this is 2000 the next location will be 2001 because it is one byte then followed by 2002 2003 2004 and so on like that it will keep on proceeding now when this has to be created, I need to create one byte of how many size? One, two, three, four, five. Five such location has to be created, right? So for that very operation, I simply write or call the malloc function. And within the malloc function, what do I specify? I specify that I need five such location, but of size of what? Of size of character. So simply, if I mention that size of char it will be one byte size of char is one byte and how many such location is needed five such location is needed so i specify this right this malloc what it returns it returns a address and what address does it return it returns a void address or a void pointer actually so 2000 is returned obviously 2000 this all thing is not allocated yet this all content is not there so just simply writing this what it will do is it will just create this contiguous block of allocation and it will simply return 2000 over here and this 2000 needs to be stored into a pointer now what type of pointer can hold this type of array right what type of pointer can hold a character pointer because we are dealing with a character array, right? So we declare what? We declare char star p. Char star p is a character pointer. So we declare a character pointer and within this character pointer, if I write p is equal to malloc size of char multiplied by 5, this all locations are allocated and this 2000 gets stored over here, which is fine. But as this 2000 is a void pointer, if even if I directly store it in P, even if I directly store it in P, it won't be able to dereference the content. So I cannot use the content of each of the location. So what I need to do, I need to typecast it, right? I need to typecast it. For that very typecasting over here, I have to specify care star. Char star malloc size of char multiplied by 5. This will do the job of dynamically allocating 5 such locations and storing the base address in P. Now simply you can use it by P of I or star of P plus I. Both will suffice, right? Why P plus I? Obviously this has been discussed multiple times. Still I am going through it. P plus I is what? P is 2000 over here. Plus i, say suppose i is 0, 1, 2, i is 2. So p plus 2 is actually 1, 2. I'm just outside this 2002. And if I associate a star with this, I will just simply enter the box, which is actually the content, right? So this can be done, this procedure or this procedure can be followed, right? So just copy it, whatever I'm writing in the board, you just uh, make a note of it, it will be helpful. And uh, 
I will just uh, also share you the IM uh, learning uh, link where all the lectures and everything are there. So you will be able to follow it and you will be able to study it because in this very uh, semester, I think everything will be going online, even the semester itself. So let's uh, not just waste time because we have to prepare, right? So this is it. Now, uh, this is for malloc. Same allocation if I do it with calloc. C A L L O C calloc. Now this calloc, what it does is the calloc function, the calloc function over here uh, is very similar to malloc, but there is something over here. Say suppose uh, not just character. Say suppose uh, let's take an integer for now. In star p, if I do this, so simply p is equal to what? P is equal to uh, those who have done this. Please bear with me because some of the sections have not yet done. So I'm just repeating this very same thing again. So just bear with me for a uh, few, one or two minutes and I will complete this, right? So in star p, p is equal to simply calloc. How many such locations are needed? One, two, three, four, five. Five such locations are needed. And of the size what? What size do we need? As we have specified an integer, so I will be needing size of int, right? This will do the job. So size of int will do the job. Now, five such location of size of int, two bytes or four bytes, whatever it is there. Now we need to typecast it simply. So int star. Just the difference between calloc and uh, malloc is calloc initializes every location with zero. So every location of this will be initialized to zero, right? But malloc initializes, it doesn't initialize rather. So, so whatever garbage value is there, it is there, right? But in calloc, every location is initialized with a zero. So this is being done. So this is uh, it. This is for calloc. Calloc is another way of uh, representing or uh, a way of dynamically allocating the memory right now we have another called the realloc realloc or reallocation so this realloc what it does is it reallocates whatever size is being specified and on and modifies it right say suppose over here in cell p i have specified it to be this right but this is uh, allocated dynamically let's statically define it and let's modify it so this can be done so int p5 say suppose i have statically defined it that p will be five such locations so five such locations are there and i want to realloc or i want to reallocate whatever is specified and modify it. So for that I need a pointer in star ptr. ptr is equal to p. I am taking another pointer. It doesn't matter. So ptr is a pointer. ptr equal to p. What does it specify? What is p? p mein kya hai? 2000. p is having 2000. So 2000 is saved over, saved over here. And this is pointing to this. No worries. Over here, if I reallocate, if I want to reallocate, I will simply specify that PTR is equal to realloc, right? But remember this, same typecasting is required over here also, right? PTR, whom am I reallocating? PTR, and I'm modifying it to what? Whatever I want. Say, suppose I want it to be size of int, obviously multiplied by 10 so ptr is being modified to size of int multiplied by 10 so what does this will do it will modify this 1 2 3 4 5 such location to 10 such location so it will modify to 10 right now okay now let's proceed. So this is uh, what uh, realloc is doing actually. Now,
free free is another free in free what will happen is say suppose we have a pointer ptr and ptr is equal to uh, some amount of uh, malloc is declared that is dynamic memory allocation is declared and what we will be doing is we can simply deallocate that very memory for deallocation simply what we will do just simply write free ptr so what will this free ptr do this free ptr will deallocate the memory and it will be absorbed into the pool of the main memory so whatever the main memory size is it will be uh, it will be increased by whatever was deducted so it will go into the pool and it will be allocated to some other variable or some other function, some other program, whatever it is, right? So this is what free does. It deallocates the memory, right? Now, so uh, this is pretty much it. So let's proceed, right? Now about the string, just one minute. Now strings. <clears throat> so feel free to ask any question, right? Uh, so whatever the question that you have in your mind, you can ask, right? The teachers are there. They will respond. They will respond to your query and I will also respond. So uh, don't just hesitate, right? Uh, whatever comes in your mind, right? So uh, we'll proceed with strings. Now strings is what? String, as I've said, is an array of character followed by an end of string marker. So every string is ended with a end of string marker, right? So at the very last, what we have is, we have slash of zero. This slash of zero is called the end of string marker. Now, say suppose I have this, W, O, R, L, D. This is one. This is one array of characters and at the very end we have end of string marker. So this is held by a str variable which is actually a pointer, character pointer and this character pointer is holding 2000. So we have something like this, right? How do we take this very thing from the user, right? There are two ways. One, either you specify as it is, right? So I can do something like this. Cat str is equal to. You can give this, but it's of it's not recommended. So you can directly write this world. This will do. This can be done, right? This can be done. Another way of doing it is simply taking the very thing from the user, just a word. So scan f. Mod s. Mod s means we are taking a string. We are taking a string from the user, right? So this string is taken from the user and over here you specify what? You specify that in which particular, which particular pointer or which particular uh, array of characters uh, it will go into, right? So simply for scanf, what you will be needing is, just one minute, what you will be needing is, is a pointer, right? So you take a pointer, you take a character pointer first. So this is one way. Another way is char star str scan f mod s str. Just specify str. Right? This can be done. No ampersand because str itself is holding 2000, which is the base address. 
it will ask the user to enter something and whatever the user enters each character by character will be stored into it will be formatted and it will be stored into every location of the particular array and it will start from this very address which is str which is 2000 so it will start from here it will keep on storing the characters and finally it will give a slash zero which is end of string marker right so char star str scanf mod s which is a string str simply specifying the base address that from here you take whatever the user enters and you store it here right this is done this is another way another way is what another way is so i'm just uh, rubbing this up right hopefully uh, you are able to understand this uh, let's check just once Which of the following is most effective? Uh, malloc was uh, first defined, then it modified it somehow. It was uh, modified into another function which is calloc. Calloc and malloc both are useful, but uh, calloc I think is better because it initializes the very uh, content to zero, right? So Ritik Ghosh has asked this question. Uh, it's not like that. According to need, it will be uh, used. Sir, can Shuddha uh, Shatto Choudhury is asking, Sir, can we decrease the memory of uh, space during realloc uh, instead of increasing it? Yes, this can be done. This uh, uh, memory space can be decreased also. So you can proceed with that. Reallocate. Whatever it is, it is reallocating. Right? Hopefully, just one minute. Uh, Devjit Banerjee, Sir, doesn't this method of using scanf cause buffer overflow yes buffer overflow is actually uh, might happen but uh, the, for that very purpose we do not use scanf because scanf just one thing just remember with this there is a problem with this scanf modest str what happens is whatever we write say suppose i enter something like this hello and i give a space this won't be taken this scanf stops wherever it receives a white space just i'm writing it over here stops scanning whenever it receives a white space stops scanning whenever it receives a white space so just one word one word is taken Whatever space is there, it won't be taken. So there's a problem. We cannot give any space in case of scanning. So how do we do it? We do it with the help of another function, which is called get as function. I'm just showing it to you. So instead of simply writing scanf, you can use get s. Get s and within that you specify str. Get s within bracket you specify str so this can be done right get s str and uh, what happens is we are taking that very uh, thing uh, directly and whatever white space or whatever hello world if i give something like this i give a space over here and i give something like this the string will be taken as it is including the white space a space will be here obviously and then world followed by a slash zero followed by a slash zero so over here spaces are also taken now let's write a program to count how many spaces are there in the string simple program many of you know this right so let's just proceed with this let's take a string and let's count how many uh, such spaces are there right we will just simply count that i'm rubbing this up okay Uh, Devjit Banerjee is asking, sir, what if we write hello world instead of hello world? Hello slash. Huh, that very slash is actually a character itself. It will be taken as a character. This slash, whatever you write, it will be taken as a separate character. So no need to worry about that.
राइट सर इनिशियल और कौन इज आस्किंग सर इनिशियल द बेस एड्रेस वॉज स्टोर्ड इन एस टी आर येस द बेस एड्रेस ऑफ द स्ट्रिंग वॉज स्टोर्ड इन एस टी आर एस टी आर वॉज होल्डिंग द फर्स्ट बेस एड्रेस राइट आई एम प्रोसीडिंग देन आई विल बी चेकिंग अगेन राइट सो जस्ट होल्ड फॉर वन मिनट नाउ ओवर हियर से सपोज आई हैव अ स्ट्रिंग लेट्स टेक अ स्ट्रिंग एस टी आर or rather sorry uh cat star str is equal to hello space world space my name just simply as this hello space world space my space name right so over here we have something like this we have hello we have a space in between this is a space we have world we have space then we have my name and followed by there is a space and this goes on right so main objective is what main objective is we have str we have this very base address which is 200 or 2000 whatever you specify so this 2000 is over here it is pointing to the very first base address now objective is to calculate the number of spaces that are there so in order to calculate that for with that very purpose just think about it what does this very string ends with right uh, let me shorten this up because i don't have much space if i simply take hello world what will it end with it will end with a character this character is called slash zero this is called end of string now let's proceed with this now think about it now str is holding this str as it is holding this previously what we could do is if we simply write str is equal to str plus 1 this str would have moved to 2001 which was a problem because we cannot we should not actually modify the base address of the string this is this shouldn't be allowed so what they did is the developers they made it a constant so you cannot modify this very thing what you can do is you can take a separate pointer to access the whole of the string so i'll be taking a separate pointer to access the whole of the string so let's take a separate pointer char star temp char star temp now you will tell me how will i make temp point to this very first address how will i make temp point to this very first address just type it in your live chat box everyone please how will you make them point to the very first location yes very good temp is equal to str very good very good so simply temp is equal to str will do the job temp is equal to str will do the job right so this is how it is being done now just observe one thing over here cas what we are doing is temp is equal to str so this temp will be pointing to the very first location and say suppose if the address is 2000 it will hold 2000 now i need to pass with the help of temp and check whether the content of this every location is a space or not right so simply i have to go and wrap this whole thing in a loop so simply write while and within while what will be what will i be doing i will be simply specifying i will be specifying what i will be specifying this tem just think about it if i want the content of this tem is 2000 but what is the content star of tem star of tem is the content right so simply star of tem not equal to 
this loop will proceed till what this loop will proceed till what until we reach this slash 0 so until star of 10 that the, that is the content is not equal to slash 0 we will keep on proceeding right so until star of 10 not equal to slash of 0 we will proceed and what and as we are proceeding what we need is we need a count which will count the number of spaces so for that what i need is for that i will be needing a uh, this int over here i am writing okay int count equal to 0 int count equal to 0 this is a simple count variable which will simply hold the number of spaces if if star of temp that is the content equal to equal to a space single quote space this single quote space single quote close if this is the case you will simply increase count is equal to count plus 1 and this will keep on proceeding just check 2000's content h is it uh, not equal to null yes it will proceed is this very content is equal to space no so after this count will not be increased so but I need to increase the value of temp after each iteration so this is within if and after this if I will simply proceed temp is equal to temp plus 1. So temp will go to the next location, check the content if it is null, then again check whether it is single quote or not, but that is space or not. If it is space, it will increase, else it will increase the value of temp, it will keep on proceeding over here, it will get one space, it will increase the value of count, it will keep on going, so the ultimately the value is 1. If we have multiple spaces, we will have multiple such value of count because it will count the number of spaces right so this is uh, for counting number of spaces just uh, let me check once if there is any problem str is equal to str plus 1 or temp is equal to temp plus 1 this is very used because temp is 2000 2000 plus 1 is 2001 so I need to go here and I need to check the content. How am I checking the content? Star of temp. Temp is 2001. Star of temp will go into the very locations content, right? And we can check the very uh, content, whether it's slash zero, whether it's uh, space, this all thing can be checked, right? So I'm just rubbing this up. You will get it. Uh, once it's recorded. So you just check this once. Now, now let's proceed. Now what we need is, we want to concatenate uh, two strings Achha. before uh, concatenation let's uh, think about how do we uh, find out if the content is a vowel or a consonant just simple as that I will just go into very location and I will check right say suppose there is a string char star str get s str obviously you don't you don't just specify get s uh, before this you specify a printf that enter a string because the user will be thinking what you need to do so always specify what you need to do what what the user wants to enter what the user have to enter and then you specify get s or scanf every scanf every get s should follow uh, uh, printf should be for, uh, just before it right so get s str now, after this very get s, I will simply do what? I will simply pass through it. Achha, another way of parsing is, say suppose I have int i equal to 0. I want to go through all of the location. Instead of using pointer, I want to use the array, the way of array, right? So, this is str, this is str, fine, which is holding the first base address. 
but I need to go through whole of this. So simply just while, obviously at the very last, what do we have? Slash zero. So say suppose I have hello. This this is the string that uh, this is the character string that we have. Char str char star str get s str int i equal to zero. So i is over here. And I need to get the content of this. Simply specify str of i or star of str plus i or use a separate pointer temp and use the content as temp. Right? So these are all the ways that with which we can access each of the location. This can be done. Right? In order to access each of the location, these all procedures can be followed. So while I am just going with this, str i not equal to slash of zero, that is the content of i. i is what? i is first zero. str of zero is h, which is not null. So I am checking this. Right? You can use for loop also, doesn't matter. If I am checking for number of vowels. If str i equal to equal to, I am just rubbing this up. A or str i equal to equal to e. And in this way, you will keep on combining it with or and finally a e i o u. str i equal to equal to u this sorry this is one way this is only considering the lowercase characters you can give the uppercase character also you simply do count is equal to count plus one obviously we have to take a count int count equal to zero count equal to count plus one so checking str's i, every content, whether it's a, e, i, o, u, if it is a, e, i, o, u, any of it, then count is equal to count plus 1. And after this, i is equal to i plus 1. Right? Simply just checking the vowels or uh, the number of vowels that are there in the string. Achha, let's check uh, just a few of the things. So don't we have to convert the whole string Show me down, Dr. is asking. Sir, don't we have to convert the whole string in uppercase or lowercase? Yeah, it is, a it is a better way of doing. So, either you specify that or you specify the whole of this. A, E, I, O, U in small and A, E, I, O, U in big. It can be done with switch case also. You can replace this if else with a switch case. Right? And uh, Shreyoshi is asking, sir, in this case of str plus i, isn't it the same as str is equal to str plus 1? Uh, str plus i and str plus 1 is actually not that same because i can be varied accordingly but over there we are only going at one space str plus 1 will move this pointer from or temp plus 1 will move this pointer at one place but str i i can jump here i can jump here i can jump anywhere right Sir, what does it mean stri not equal to slash zero? str is an character arrays first base address. So simply accessing an array is stri. If stri, if stri is equal to slash zero, which is the end of string, I will stop. So until or unless stri is not equal to this, if it is if this is the case, we will proceed. That is if str's i's content that is this content or this content or this content if it is not equal to slash zero we will proceed through it as we have reached this we won't enter the while loop we will simply come out all right but str is equal to str plus i means attempting to change str which is not yeah directly attempting to change str won't be done we have to access this with the help of temp temp is a separate pointer with which we want to manipulate it using pointer. If you want to use array, you can do that. But you have to use it via temp. 
sir why uh, romit bhumik is asking sir why have you used while loop why can't it be done using for loop if the length of the string is known yeah it can be done you have to find out the length then you have to do or you can simply modify just i'm modifying this while loop to a for loop right for over here no need to specify the simply i i equal to 0 str i not equal to slash of 0 i plus plus i don't need to specify this also right this can be done right so let me proceed yeah str len uh, can be used it is uh, obviously recommended but uh, we are doing this so that you have an idea about the data structures and everything right okay now just one more problem i will be showing you the more you see the more times you see the better it will be it will be better if you code it in your home it will give you an idea about all these things and uh, you will be able to perform better just remember one thing c c++ java is only recommended for data structure python is not recommended and uh, matlab python these are not recommended so it's better that you go for c because c is uh, accepted in all of the institutes as well as the uh offices right because ultimately bottom line every programming language every system has a hardware component and within that we have a c programming interface because python is written using c all the programming languages that we have is ultimately written using c right many of it anyway so just uh this is one so we have hello i'm just uh, end with string concatenation for now we have hello we have slash 0 this is 5 over here now this is over say suppose i have str and i have str1 and i have str2 say suppose i first specify two character array char str1 100 char str2 100 no problem you take all this get s get s str1 get s str2 so this is done just look at look at it char str1 so we have taken this char str2 we have taken another and we are taking get s str1 which is hello and get s str2 say suppose within this i specify world followed by a slash 0 obviously every string will be followed by a slash 0 so this has to be done mane it is automatically done you don't need to think about it end of string marker is always there because it indicates the end of the uh, string right now get s str1 get s str2 we have taken the content right now let's proceed towards concatenation the objective will be this str1 is equal to str1 plus str2 we will be concatenating this whole thing over here this whole thing will be concatenated over here right let's proceed i'm just rubbing this up we are considering that this has been taken this is done now i'm taking two pointers char start temp start temp 1 two pointers temp and temp 1 temp will be pointing here temp1 will be pointing here so temp 
will be pointing here temp1 will be pointing here so for that what i need to do simply specify whatever the content of str1 is it is holding this base address i will store it in temp so simply write temp equal to str1 right again for this also i will specify temp1 equal to str2 right so this is done temp is equal to str1 temp1 is equal to str2 so this is done now i need to move this temp over to here and mane i will keep on moving it till here and then i will start copying all the content of this over in this so let's proceed with that so for that what i need to do is i will specify this first move temp to the very last so while while star of while star of temp not equal to slash of 0 while star of temp not equal to slash of 0 what i will do i will move temp to man until or unless it is slash 0 it will keep on moving so temp is equal to temp plus 1 right this can be done now now i will specify a procedure of replacing this whole thing until or unless the start temp is not equal to slash 0 it will keep on moving let's replace this whole thing with one line how will you do it just look at this i will remove this temp is equal to temp plus 1 right i will modify something over here let's modify it while star of temp plus plus not equal to slash while star temp plus plus not equal to slash 0 this will be done right so i'm proceeding with this so what does this mean this means that until or unless the content the start temp is this start first plus plus won't be evaluated right first this plus plus won't be evaluated so temp plus plus won't be done first start of temp will be done so start of temp that is h not equal to slash 0 so m plus plus after this m plus plus so this is actually this whole thing is actually uh, first star of m not equal to slash 0 is checked then m is equal to m plus 1 this is done all right in only one line just see there is a semicolon so this is it now so after this very operation temp is over here i need to keep on copying whatever is in temp1 to here w will be copied then temp1 will increase temp will also increase o will be copied r will be copied l will be copied d will be copied finally slash 0 has to be put so while i have to check with this while star of temp1 not equal to what while star of temp1 not equal to not equal to what slash 0 while star of temp1 that is this content is not equal to slash 0 i will keep on moving and keep on copying this copying what the content of star of temp1 whatever is here to to where to star of temp so star of temp is equal to star of temp1 right increase temp is equal to temp plus 1 and temp 1 equal to temp 1 
प्लस वन राइट वाइल स्टार ऑफ टेम्प वन नॉट इक्वल टू जीरो वाइल स्टार ऑफ टेम्प वन नॉट इक्वल टू स्लैश जीरो स्टार ऑफ टेम्प वट एवर इज हियर यू विल कॉपी दिस हियर सो आई एम कीप ऑन कॉपिंग इट एंड इंक्रीजिंग टेम्प बाई वन एंड टेम्प वन बाई वन सो दिस इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज दिस इज ऑल्सो इंक्रीज सो डब्ल्यू गेट्स कॉपीड ओ गेट्स कॉपीड आर गेट्स कॉपीड एल डी फाइनली टिल डी इज इज कॉपीड जस्ट थिंक अबाउट इट आफ्टर दिस एस टी आर वन विल लुक समथिंग लाइक दिस हेलो वर्ल्ड दिस विल बी देर बट आफ्टर दिस आई हैव टू पुट अ स्लैश जीरो राइट टेम्प इज हियर After this copying, temp is here, and temp one is here. So either I can copy the content, or so this will be here. Either I can copy the content of this to here, or directly specify after this very operation simply star of temp equal to slash zero. Right? This can be done. So this is how you concatenate two strings. right this operation is used to traverse this temp to this this location and this operation is used to copy each of the content of this right so this is how it is done right so we will be having the imcrt quiz and uh, we will be having uh, your uh, this uh, assignment which should, you know there is a hard deadline till this uh, very uh, a uh, session of 5 uh, uh, i think till 5 uh, pm you can submit this so you submit it till 5 pm the assignments and all right and uh, you give the imcrt quiz and uh, thank you for watching just uh, let me check if there is any doubt or not my uh, laptop just stopped so i will be checking this in the desktop itself right just one minute okay now uh sir uh shreyoshi chakraborty is asking uh sir in between two words how the space will be printed as a uh, while loop of the temp runs up to the space acha in between two words how the space as a space is nothing like that if you want a space you specify a space right over here i'm just showing it to you over here if i want a space in between here this hello space world after this very while loop what you do is you specify star of temp star of temp is equal to a space single quote space semicolon then you increase temp by 1 then you write this whole of this code temp is equal to temp plus 1 temp is equal to temp plus 1 this is done because uh, uh because we want to increase the temp pointer to the next location so we are proceeding temp is also proceeding temp one is also proceeding right <coughs> so why are we using temp plus plus in the condition temp plus plus is a postfix operation instead of writing start temp not equal to null then temp is equal to temp plus 1 i can wrap the whole thing into one while loop just the while loop and semicolon temp plus plus will be done later on first star of temp will be checked then temp plus plus will occur okay uh diptangshu gupta sir why did we use start temp is equal to start temp 1 start temp is equal to start temp 1 because start temp and temp1 over here temp1's content is being copied into temp temp1's uh, content is copied into temp so whatever the content of 
star of temp one is it will be copied into temp so star of temp is equal to star of temp one acha <coughs> orithro pal slash zero shows the end of string yeah the slash that you gave is wrong it will be this slash so why did we use uh, okay uh, okay uh, will the output be hello world slash Bikram Mondol, uh, your question I am not able to understand. World slash hello world. No, no, no. Hello world. Simply hello world. No spaces in between. Whatever I have done, there is no space. If you want to give space, you can do it. You can modify it accordingly, right? Hopefully, you have liked this, right? You can proceed uh, towards uh, doing your IMCRP. We'll, it will be given shortly in uh, three four minutes, right? and uh, you will be uh, doing your imcrp and finally you go with the assignments right sir so what is the difference between star of temp bracket and star of temp plus plus star of temp bracket doesn't work star of temp bracket only will work when we want a array of character pointers that is a string it is different i will show you that part is different and uh, star of temp plus plus is valid star of temp plus plus means temp star of temp is checked then we proceed with plus plus oh thank you yes it's from naruto hopefully many of you watch anime right uh, sir why did you put uh, semicolon in the last of the while loop so why did you put semicolon in the last of the uh, while loop uh, we put a semicolon because that while loop is uh, happening in on its own there is no body there is no body of the while loop just star of temp plus plus not equal to this simply this i'm just showing it to you this one this one over here star of temp not equal to slash zero is done then plus plus occurs so this whole thing is semicolon because this is itself there is no body after this very operation temp will come over here temp will move and it will come to slash zero and it will come over here after that all of the content gets copied right hopefully you all liked it if any changes and anything is required please do tell i will modify accordingly uh, this is not the i don't think this is the best lecture that i've gave so i need to modify accordingly whatever you suggest it will be put on and i will modify accordingly right hopefully you all liked it thank you be safe and don't go out right <laughs> because this 21 days is 21 days lockdown so we have to listen to that right Uh, sir is there any way to make string array like in java yes there is a way string array can be done string array can be done by array of pointers and every pointer will point to a string so this can be done so first you have to declare a character a uh, point array of pointers two characters that is char star str then bracket okay right so just go and we will be informing what you need to do IMCRP then the uh, assignment which can be submitted there is a no hard and fast deadline but has to be submitted by five right so this this has to be done thank you all thank you all for watching right okay bye bye.